Sometimes when you're working in Photoshop Elements, you want an image that looks different from a square, a circle, or an ellipse, a combination of them. How can you change the shape of an object that's not exactly any of the preset ones? Let me show you. I'm going to click on the File menu and then click on New and choose Blank File. I will take the width, I'll make this a thousand pixels, and let's go 60 on the height. I want to make sure that my background is set to transparent. Then I'll click on OK. I'm working in the expert mode of Elements 11. What I have here is my um, object. It's, it is transparent, which is what the checkerboard means. First thing I want to do is fill it with a color. So I have a, a green picked. I'll take my paint bucket tool, click on that. And then I will click anywhere in here and click it once and it will fill it with green. Now I'm going to use a different color from, uh, this is called layer one. I'll pick a different color here. Anything but green doesn't matter. I'll pick this blue, click on OK. And now if I want a rounded corner here, what can I do? Well, I'm going to move here to my objects. Now yours may be rectangular or a star or an octagon uh, or a rounded rectangle. I'm going to choose ellipse. And that's what I have selected here. Now I'm going to draw myself an ellipse. Okay, let's see. Make it a little shorter. Okay, what I want to do now is click on my selection tool and move this ellipse. So it's going to show kind of where I want the edge of my object to be. It calls it shape one, and you can rename that if you want to. I'll rename the layer, I'll just call it uh, ellipse. Click on OK. And what I want to do is I want to copy that layer because I'm going to use this more than once. I'll right click on it. We'll do duplicate layer. Ellipse copy is fine. And I'll click on OK. So I want to take, I can be on either ellipse or ellipse copy and I'll move this one over here and leave it like that. The next thing I want to do is I want to take uh, out the green areas on the outside. How do I do that? Well, the easiest way to do that is click on the layer, hold the control key down and click on both ellipse copies. Then with all the three layers selected, I right click and I choose merge layers. And now they're all together. It's one document, one graphic. I will highlight ellipse copy. Now I'm going to take my quick selection tool and I'll click over here. I'll hold the control key down and click over here. Oh, it doesn't respond to control key. All right, I'll do one at a time. Then I'll press delete on the keyboard. Then I'll move over here and select this area, put press delete on the keyboard. And now I have an object, I'll press escape to make the, the uh, crawling lines disappear. And now I have one object. The problem is it's two colors. Well, I can s correct that by clicking back on my paintbrush and fill the middle area as I did the other area with the blue. So now I have something that's a rectangle that is uh, curved on either end. I could do much more drastic kind of merge and cut um, with this, but this is a simple illustration. To save it, I click on the File menu, and I'll save it. We'll just call it um, Blue Rectangle. It will save it as a Photoshop PSD. And then we'll go ahead and I'll save as. This time we'll save it as a PNG file. I like the name I had before, so I'll delete the rest of this. 
and we'll save it as a PNG file. I don't care if it's interlaced or not. I can click on OK. Now I'll take go to my file menu and open up that folder and double click on my blue rectangle. It's only five kilobytes. And there's my image. Now we could uh, do more to perfect it if we wanted to, but this just gives you an idea how you can create an irregular image combination of rectangle and rounded edges in Photoshop Elements.